Safety is complete on Pittsburgh rapper Mac Miller. At this point, no official word of the cause of death. Officials say that won't be made known until lab test results come in, and that could take weeks. Miller reportedly went into cardiac arrest after a possible drug overdose. Well, hundreds of people are expected to come out for a vigil in honor of Mac Miller tonight. It's being held at Blue Slide Park, which Miller named his first album for. David Highfield joins us live. David. Yeah, I can. In fact, this vigil is just getting underway here at Blue Slide Park. Uh, hundreds of people, a couple hundreds of people are here already. They're playing Mac Miller's music on speakers, and I'm going to step out of the shot so you can get an idea of the crowd. More people continue to file in here. All these people felt moved enough by his music to gather here to celebrate his life. Blue Slide Park was the title of his debut album, and tonight it's where fans are gathering to remember a young rap artist whose message touched many. It hits home for sure. Just, uh, I was telling earlier, it's, it's incredible to come, you know, knowing he's been here, knowing that this was such a big influence on his life, and he's been such a big influence on mine. Anything you need. Miller's career soared since 2011. The 26-year-old was about to go out on tour with his latest album, but he died in California on Friday of a suspected drug overdose. I was heartbroken. I've been crying for like four days. It's, it's been hard, but with all these people coming together, it means a lot. Years ago, Miller took KDKA to Frick Park and the blue slide where he played growing up. Now the spot where fans are gathering to remember him. Artist Zachary Rudder is here painting a portrait of Miller. There's a connection that's beyond friendship, beyond family, that's just like emotional, down to its core. People have placed flowers and candles at the slide, but it's the written messages that give you a clue of how Miller's music touched people's lives, and in some cases, got them through some very tough times. That talked me out of suicide one night, and like, just just realizing that like that's gone now, it's just like, it just hurts a lot. I'm sorry. And at 7.30 tonight, people will gather here to talk about the impact that his music had on their lives. And then at 9.30 tonight will be a candlelight vigil. And I want to show you one more thing, and that is the blue slide there. Uh, crews came in this morning. With all the rain we've had lately, the concrete was very, very wet. They, they dried the concrete, and then they put a fresh layer of paint on it, blue paint, before tonight's vigil. We're live tonight in Frick Park, David Highfield. KDKA TV News. All right, David, thanks.